Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgk.com and today we are going to create a simple chair model with Edit Poly, Editable Poly. Uh, this is the model we are going to create. Uh, first, before you uh, start uh, a model like this, I really recommend you to go to Google and search for general dimensions of whatever you are trying to model because uh, Eventually, you want to fit these models into a an interior or, I don't know, use these models elsewhere. So, uh, if the dimensions are realistic, then when you merge this to another scene, it will just sit right on what, are you, what you are doing uh, there. So, I really recommend you to go to Google and type di chair dimensions, for example, and I came up with this image. Uh, you don't need to find the exact model uh, this gives me a general idea uh, of a sitting height uh, the width the total height uh, and the length of the chair okay uh, one more thing is uh, before we uh, go to uh, the comments in edit poly and go by uh, one by one uh, like what is attach or what is bridge for example i want to sh uh, create uh, this uh, simple model because uh, i wanted to show you what you can do with edit poly so when we are going through the comments, you will have a general understanding of where we are going to use those tools. Okay, uh, so let's uh, go ahead and start uh, with this chair. Um, let me keep the dimensions here for now. Let's make this a little bit smaller. And hit Ctrl Shift A to uh, make this stay on top. I'm going to start with a box. And I'm going to just input uh, 53 for the length and 48 uh, for the width. And then I'm going to move this to the origin. Uh, for the height, I'm going to input 2. And this is my base uh, sitting plane, I guess. And I'm going to uh, move this up 45 centimeters so that we have this sitting uh, height in here. As you can see, you don't need to be exact, uh, but Having a general understanding of the dimensions will make your model look uh, more solid uh, as well. Okay, so I'm going to hit T. I'm going to create the legs. Uh, as you can see, we are not using uh, Edit Poly for now. I'm just cre creating a base uh, to work with. Then I'm going to add Edit Poly and uh, change the dimensions or change the shape as required. Uh, uh, this will be uh, the front leg of the chair, so I'm going to just uh, input 3.5 centimeters by 3.5 centimeters for the width for the width on both sides, let's say, and I want to uh, make the height uh, 45 centimeters. I'm going to hit T again and place this. You don't need to grab snaps all the time. I actually I don't recommend you to because in real life uh, there's no snap, so um, you uh, whatever you do with your eye. Uh, should suffice, but if you are uh, a little bit uh, tight about this stuff, then you can just hit S and move this to the corner, uh, exactly to the corner. Uh, I recommend you to not to use this, but I know this is a issue. This is an a real issue at the beginning. Uh, I had it as well. At the start, you feel like you need to be exact with these dimensions, so don't fight it try to uh, use snap uh, whatever uh, but uh, with time you, you will in my opinion you will get over this i'm going to hold shift and create a copy from that leg okay actually let's uh, do this with symmetry it will be uh, even better uh, to add symmetry i'm going to select the box and add a symmetry modifier on top then i'm going to hit one or just choose mirror from here I'm going to hit Alt A to align this to the box in here, and I'm going to just center it. Uh, if your leg disappeared, then just flip it. Uh, that way, uh, you will you can flip the mirror side. Okay. And let's uh, copy this uh, to back as well. Uh, I'm going to hit S to snap this as well. As I told you, I, I'm showing this uh, only because if you are really tight with this, but um, in time, you won't need to use this. I don't want these two to be instanced. Uh, I, as I copy them, uh, I had the instance 
option selected so i want to make this unique because uh, the shape on the back side is a little bit different than the front side as you can see this is one piece uh, we'll lengthen it a little bit okay so let's do that as well i'm going to just go uh, here choose the box and uh, make this a little bit higher uh, i guess let me check from here i guess i added 40 centimeters or so to the uh, previous dimension yeah 40 let's uh, input 85 for this okay and you will end up with it maybe a little bit we can do this a little bit higher uh, 87 let's say okay so we have these these base shapes now uh, up to this point we haven't used edit poly i know i know but uh, right now we're going uh, into uh, edit poly now first thing i notice is there's a little bit of a chamfer or taper on this leg in here it's thinner on the bottom uh, thicker on the top so i'm going to just add an edit poly um, now what i recommend you to do is go back to box and add an edit poly on top of it that way you will stay under the symmetry so whatever you change with this box the result will be symmetrical on both sides uh, but if let's delete this by the way to delete a modifier you you should hit this remove modifier from stack button if you add an edit poly on top then you will be doing this uh, modification after the symmetry modifier so it won't show on the other side but don't worry you can just move this down drag click and drag and move it down and put it in between symmetry and box and then whatever you do will work on both sides again okay so uh, what you can do is you can just choose these uh, this bottom side and just make it a little bit thinner that way uh, it will look a little bit more organic and it will look a little bit more solid because we have uh, this in most of the chairs um, i guess at least on this chair so you can see that the effect uh, the change affected the other side uh, immediately so that's nice to see i guess uh, on both sides and again in this chair the back side is a little bit thicker back legs so let's go to the box in here and just change the dimension to four by four it will make them a little bit thicker and you can see that we have a visual difference between these two and it will make it uh, again uh, a little bit more solid in my opinion a better looking at least uh, then i'm going to just choose this and we need to get rid of these panels in here the, these sides in here because we don't want these in, uh, intersection between these two uh, objects solids what i want you to do is to add an edit poly on top i'm going to choose uh, hit two to choose this edge in here and i'm going to hit ring to make the parallel selections we know this from the previous uh, lesson and i'm going to hit connect i'm not going to hit connect but hit the settings button next to connect tool and you can see that right away we have this uh, segment you can move the segment around with slide and i'm going to move it to the back and again i'm going to choose this and hit connect again and i'm going to just add two uh, sorry i forgot to hit ring so first ring then connect settings this time i'm going to uh, make slide zero and i'm i'm going to play with the pinch option which will um, increase the distance between these two edges okay then i'm going to hit alt q this is a, a um, tool that I, i'm going to use a lot it's to isolate objects and you can see that whenever we are trying to edit a uh, single object it's a little bit difficult to see it uh, from uh, all angles when there are a lot of objects in the scene so using alt q or isolate will uh, be very handy if you right click and an click on and isolate this will of course bring back uh, the model but now again i'm going to hit isolate to uh, isolate this object i'm going to hit four and select these faces hit delete to get rid of them uh, now you can see that we have those openings but we also have the openings in here as well so to uh, close these i'm going to hit two select this edge select this edge with control this will make a uh, selection with both edges and i'm going to hit bridge this will as you can see bridge the opening like this and i'm going to do the same for this side and for this and these edges i've assigned some shortcuts for this but for uh, now i'm i'm using the uh, longer methods so that you can uh, understand this but i've assigned alt f in my hotkey editor if you have 
shortcuts for these type of things uh, it will make it a little bit faster i guess to model but uh, don't worry about that right now just try to get used to whatever we're doing okay the second thing i see is this leg is a little bit banded and th that's the main reason we are using edit poly i guess uh, and i'm going to add an edit poly in between symmetry and box uh, just be as we did uh, on the front leg now i'm going to hit two select this this edge in here hit ring and just connect and create four segments along the way okay and then what i want to do is i want to just hit one select this bottom uh, bottom vertices these vertices and i'm going to move them uh, outside a little bit and maybe move this out a little bit as well maybe make this a little bit thinner on the bottom as well just like we did the front leg okay all this even a little bit further out okay and again the same thing for here as well we have a uh, a curve in here as well yes. Yes. Um, what I'm uh, trying to accomplish here is I'm uh, let me tell you about my thought process because uh, I'm just clicking and doing stuff but uh, I'm not telling you what I think I guess <laughs> at, at least uh, for this example right now so what I did is I want to define a slope in here first with the top face and then I'm going to adjust these vertices accordingly I'm trying to keep the as you can see I'm trying to keep the curvature in here it looks messy right now because right now we have like this curvature inwards in here and then we go straight and then bending again and it looks a little bit weird so what i want to do is i want to keep this curve along the way okay keep the curvature uh, same or similar along the way so what i want to do is i want to adjust this accordingly i'm going to just pull this out and now you can see that we have a good curve in here and it looks much better much professional uh, in real life a designer would do it like this so it would look fake if we didn't so that's what uh, I think that's what my thought process is actually maybe move this to the left a little bit even and if I move it too much to left uh, you can see that again we have a messed up curvature we, we have this then this and it looks a little bit messed up maybe that's uh, intentional when, it, when it's in, intentional uh, a part of the design yeah of course we could do it uh, but uh, mostly you want to uh, keep the curves uh, keep the curvatures similar along the way okay right I guess this looks good uh, now uh, let's do the rest of the model I'm going to hit F I guess these, these were the harder parts because now we will just create some boxes and edit them uh, with edit poly uh, accordingly I'm going to just create this box in here and I'm going to move it back as I told you, I'm not using snaps, uh, but you can. Uh, I'm not against that. Uh, but for now, to be to show you my real workflow, I'm not going to use them. I'm going to add an edit poly, hit four, and select this front face. And uh, I'm going to hit P and hit Z to zoom this. And then I'm going to move it like so. Uh, maybe keep the curvature in here as well, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to hit F and I'm going to keep the, keep the curvature in here as well. Okay, Th that's uh, very important as well. It, will, it would look uh, worse if we didn't do this. Okay. And I'm going to hit F again. And ag uh, again, I'm going to grab the box command. You could just copy this as well, but uh, I guess I'd like to draw a new box. And again, place this. I'm going to add, add an edit poly at this point I'm not just uh, using dimensions even for these you can uh, don't uh, think that you shouldn't you can and maybe even you should uh, but the thing is uh, this is a much fa this is a much faster way and in the end I want to achieve a look that I like so I'm not going to manufacture this or whatever so I'm going for the look 
so I'm just using my eye to eyeball things. In the long run, it will this will this uh, modeling like this will make you much faster, and you will end up with better looking things because you are putting the visualization part first, I guess. And any box and a new edit poly on top, and I'm just adjusting this accordingly. Okay, maybe we should bend this a little bit to the back. Maybe you want to add a curvature in here as well. Maybe you want will want this uh, to follow this curvature. So if you do, I'm going to show you a faster way, faster method than uh, connect. Uh, it's swift loop. It's in here. Uh, if you go look at the ribbon and go to the modeling tab, you can see there's a command called swift loop. If you click on it, you can just click and add a loop to your model like so. And now you can just pull this, pull this, pull this. And you can see that we have a curvature in here. Okay. And then I'm going to just uh, create a copy. Uh, I, 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 let me show you a better way to do this as well. I, uh, because it's a little bit difficult to adjust this when you uh, do it like this. Because uh, if, even if you delete these models in here, then it, it won't be centered, I guess. You can just select these and center, but it's a little bit long to do it like that. I'm going to show you a better way, which is array. We have seen this uh, tool before. Uh, I'm going to go to tools, array. You need to have this selected, this to work, for this to work. I'm going to enable preview, and then I'm going to just bring up the X value. Uh, maybe decrease the count. And as you can see, it's cent it looks centered, uh, maybe a little bit to the, we should move it a little bit to the left, I guess. Yeah. Okay, for, uh, let's uh, paint all the model to gray, uh, because <laughs> these colors I'm, I get a little bit, uh, I can't really see <laughs> what's going on in there. And okay, we need to add these uh, boxes, I'm going to hit T. Go to, to go to the top view, I'm going to create a new box and I'm going to just move this up. Again, you can input some dimensions, but I'm not going to pull this back a little bit. You can hit F3 to see where it stands. Um, and then I'm going to add an edit poly. Just place these accordingly. Uh, having little gaps like this uh, won't matter that much and it will look more realistic. So maybe you can even uh, leave those gaps intentionally. You will see uh, what I'm talking about when we get to the render uh, part of things. Maybe make it a little bit longer on this side. Okay. And you can just add a symmetry for this one as well. I'm going to hit one to go to the mirror mode and I'm going to align this uh, like so and just change the axis. And you can see that we have the same thing on the back side. Okay. And then I'm going, we can create a copy with uh, rotate. I can, I'm going to hit E, hit A for angle snaps and I'm going to just hold shift and uh, rotate this which will create a copy as you can see. This time I'm going to create a copy because uh, I don't want to make unique uh, that. Then I'm going to just place one of these. Then I'm going to hit, uh, go to the mirror and align this to the chair again. And you can see that we have this. And we have this opening in here, so I'm going to just pull this back. And I guess for the last thing, I'm going to create these boxes. It's uh, quite simple. I can just copy this down and go to Edit Poly and just uh, adjust the shape. Maybe make it a little bit thicker. OK. 
Okay. And for the last thing I want to, again, uh, turn this to gray first. And uh, for the last thing I want to add a chamfer modifier on top because in this model you can see that we have uh, more, more uh, pronounced or more exaggerated uh, lines uh, on the edges. You can see that we have this edge more uh, visibly, more obvious and these uh, between these two parts we have this edge visibly more obvious but we don't have them in here and this is uh, a mistake i see a lot so i repeat this a lot maybe uh, i told this to you before but uh, always 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 you need to add chamfer to your model because the edges in real life are never uh, this sharp even if you think of an edge of a knife you should have a small uh, fillet or chamfer on the corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these at a chamfer. At first it looks a little bit weird but let's adjust uh, the values. I'm going to just uh, input 0.1 for the amount and then to get rid of these smoothness on the uh, surfaces I'm going to go to smoothing output and change this to smooth chamfers only. And then you can see that we have the edges punctuated I guess <laughs> I was looking for the that word uh, okay and you can see that we can see the edges and it looks much more realistic right away in my opinion at least uh, one more thing I'm going to do because we don't know to use a, a turbo, turbo smooth yet I'm not going to use turbo smooth but I'm going to show you how you can smooth this out in the spoon uh, example we do the, did this as well I'm going to go to edit poly and I'm going to go to swift loop there's a cool trick with Swift Loop you can do. If you hold Shift and click, um, while adding the edge edge over there, the Swift Loop will try to smooth out the end result as well. Okay, hold Shift and click. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work, as you can see, but just let, then you need you can do it manually. Manually, but uh, the reason it doesn't work is this is the last segment, so it doesn't have a curvature. Um, value from before uh, let's try this uh, in a in here for example i'm going to go to swift loop hold shift and click and you can see that it moved a little bit uh, or it moved slightly so that it can fit to this curve in here so wherever you see a uh, corner or an a meshed model then you can just hold shift and click and it will fix that for you okay This is our cha uh, chair. I, uh, I hope you had fun modeling this because we're going to create a lot of models like this throughout these lessons. So uh, I hope this was useful. Uh, thanks for listening. If you find it useful, please hit the like button, hit the uh, subscribe button and hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Uh, thanks again and see you in the next lesson.